Do you ever wish there was a way to have tiny little reminders popping up in your Todoist when you need to see them? Well, in this week's episode, I think I'm going to solve that problem just for you. Hello and welcome to another episode of my Working With Todoist series. My name is Carl Pauline and in this week's episode have I got a sneaky little trick just for you. Now essentially let me explain why and how I use this trick. There are some things that I just want to be reminded of. It could be something like uh, check that the photocopier has been fixed or it could be that I want to review the start date of a project. But this is just something that's going to give me 10 second decision to make in the morning. So it's not really a task, but then it is a task and I, you know, I, it just ends up filling up my task list and it becomes just a mess. So I came up with a, a little solution that really works for me and I just wanted to share that with you this week. Now before I go into Todoist and show you this little trick, what I would like to ask is if you get any value from this, if this idea that I have can really solve a problem for you, then please help me by hitting that like button below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe. Okay, let's go straight into Todoist now and let me show you my little trick. Right, so as you can see, here is my demo account and what you see at the top of my list is I have review bolded an abacus project and reminder has Fred fixed the photocopier. <clears throat> now, I don't use these personally very often, but there are little things that sometimes I want to see it on my today list, but I don't want to think of it as being part of my objectives or part of my today's focus. These are just things that I need to be notified of on the day. Now, I know for you GTD purists, you're going to say, well, that's what the calendar's for. And fine, if that's what you prefer, by all means, use your calendar for that. But I don't really want to actually use my calendar in that way. My calendar for me is just for events and for time blocked work uh, blocks. What I like to use to do is for is to come up and just tell me these are review. This is something I need to review. Now, for me personally, review means that I need to make a decision of whether I want to start this project or not. It just tells me to go into the project. So down here in my projects list, I have under work, I have the Abacus project. I can go into there, I can have a look at it and I can think, well, actually this project's not due until September. So what I want to do is I'm going to off, I'm going to postpone that now until say, uh, let's start that, have a look again on the 1st of July. So I've now changed the date and I'm going to review that on the 1st of July. That could be because I'm very busy at the moment and I really don't have time to even think or start Abacus project. Now that when it comes to it on the day in the morning when I do my planning, I see that and that's just told me that I need to review that project. Now all it's going to mean is let's say that that is something. Oh, yes, I really do need to start this project now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the date function. I'm going to add a date and I'm probably going to say, OK, next week. So now this has been done and I can now check that off. That project has now become active. And that's the way I'm using it. So it's it's literally a, a second or two. So I've got a reminder here. Has Fred fixed the photocopy? It's just a reminder. Now, if I'm in the office, all I have to do is go to the photocopy machine and do a test, see if it's working. Less than two minutes to do that, unless I have to wait for it to start and warm up. But that's something that I just want to have a little reminder that just reminds me to check something so it's not in my mind trying to remind me to do something because the worst place to keep these kind of tasks are is in your mind because they're just going to keep coming up. But it's something that I'm thinking, well, I'm not even in the office today, so I'm just going to hit the date function. I'm going to postpone that until tomorrow. Bang, off it goes. And now I'm into my daily routines. 
Now, what I've done here is I've put added a few of these things in here. So Project X, for example, I've got a follow up. Now, you can use this for follow up again. So I could actually put this in for today. I'm going to say this is going to come up follow up on Monday and it's going to tell me immediately that I will need to follow up Jenny. But again, maybe I'm not I, when I created that task, I'm thinking, you know, I don't really need to chase Jenny on Monday uh, and I can just decide, OK, let's just postpone that to another day. I'm going to go into the date function and say, actually, I'm not going to do it on Monday. I can do that on Wednesday and I can just change the date. Now, that would come up on the daily list. So these are some of the ways that I actually just use this and I just add these in. So the words I'm using is things like follow up, reminder and review. Review particularly is one that I use and I've covered this a little bit recently when I was talking about how to uh, use your to do list in order to be able to keep projects hidden if you like creating a start date but this for me has worked brilliantly for a long time now and I, as I say I don't use them very often and sure people will say to me well why don't you use your tickler file true I could but then to me my tickler file is really for things that are more things like here, like I've got to decide whether or not to attend the British Chamber of Commerce meeting in June. It's not part of a project, it's just a decision I have to make. And ordering the navy blue polo jumper, for example, again, that's not a project, it's just an order that I want to take. And checking above and beyond tour dates, again, that's not a project. What I use these reminders for, or these follow-up for, or these uh, reviews for, is within the projects themselves, because that really just helps me to, it tells me that the, the task itself is not urgent, it's not necessary. And if I've got a particularly busy day and I don't even want to think about it, the only thing I have to do is postpone it to another day. It's kind of giving me permission to postpone a task to another day, which is actually a nice thing to have. And that's really how I'm using these. And they are so, so useful when they when you when you're actually working in the daily uh, I can go back to my projects here. You can see where I've got them in here. Um, so I've got like a reminder here, for example, or ask all department team heads to send their quarter review. Now, again, this is just my demo account. So as you can see, I don't really have these um, coming up. But I've got the reminder in the single actions here. Has Fred fixed the photocopier? But when they come up, and the other thing I should point out is I always put them as a P1 task. So that at the top of my today, today list when I go into it. Now, I always do a quick review of my today list first thing in the morning to see just a reminder of what I want to do. But I do generally do all my planning the night before. And this way, these little tasks are just they are always going to be less than two minutes. Actually, they're usually just 30 seconds. It's just like giving me a heads up as to what I want to check. And it's not usually vault. It's not usually involving work. So like has Fred, Fred fixed the photocopier? It's just a check. I could actually call that check. Now, I should point out that the way to do that is uh, for those of you who are a bit new to Todoist, what you can do, what you have to do um, is I'm just going to change that to check because um, that's another one that I've used in the past. So that comes up as check. And what you do is when you edit the when you create the task, you put the exclamation marks in either side and then check. Um, the exclamation mark is the syntax command to tell the to do is that this has to be bold. So when you hit save, it's going to be bolded and has fixed the photocopier. So that's basically how I'm using these little tags. And I, as you say, I, even in my demo account, I've not used many because I really, really don't. I mean, most of the time I don't have any of these coming up, but they do come up from time to time. And because they do come up from time to time, I do pay attention to them. And this is the thing I really wanted to stress here is do not start putting these on every single task because you'll just become numb to it and you just stop taking any notice. Remember, these are just for tasks that you want to be alerted to. It's something that you thought of a few days ago and you just want to do a check or it's a project that you've postponed for six months and now it's come up again and you want to review it. That's the only real reasons why you should be using these. If you're using them for every single task, the, the power of this will actually stop working. OK, just a little idea that I had a couple of weeks ago was to explain about how to use these. They are so, so useful, but only if you use them sparingly. Well, thank you very much for watching this episode. It just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week. Thank you for watching this video. Now, if you want to take your productivity to a higher level, then get yourself enrolled in my 2019 edition of Your Digital Life 2.0 online. 
It is a complete, comprehensive productivity and time management course. And it's a course that will take you to levels of productivity you have only ever dreamt of before. It shows you how to build your very own COD system, collect, organize, and do. It shows you how to create the folder structure, how to build into your, your goals, into your daily to-do list. It has everything. And not only that, you will get a free copy of Your Digital Life 2.0, the book. You also get a free workbook and you get access to all the slides that are used in the course. It is incredible value. I want to see you in that course. If you are serious about becoming productivity, then please join me in Your Digital Life 2.0, the 2019 edition. Thank you very much for watching this video.